Hey guys, Autobot Lancer here, uh, bringing you another review. This time it's of uh, Transformers Generations uh, Dark Mount, aka Straxus. Um, really, really cool figure. Uh, only, I think the only problem I do have with it is that uh, when you're looking at it from the front, these wheels just seem to be like so hidden. I think they could have been a little bit more bulkier just to kind of give them that not so skinny front end. Uh, and I guess the other thing I'd have to say is I wish this thing was a, like a Voyager class or uh, at least something a little bit bigger than a deluxe. But uh, overall, a really cool figure. Uh, it does have the turret on the front that moves, or the barrel on the front that moves up and down. Oh, is that supposed to be back there like that? Yeah. So the barrel on the front does move up and down. And then it does rotate. Uh, 360 degrees. It's a little hard sometimes to get over those some of the spots. And it also has a little, little extra weaponry as well, uh, which can be placed wherever you want it. Uh, well, kind of, as long as it's got little like clip pieces. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool in uh, pretty cool alt mode though. Uh, it does also have a second alt mode. Uh, what you want to do is you come back here and you separate what will become the arms and then drop down the arms or the pegs there and then you bring this piece here up and it'll just kind of clip in and then you rotate the turret around and then there you have his unmanned anti-air turret or something. Uh, it's kind of a kind of cheesy, I guess, but gives it a third mode. You could call him a triple changer. <laughs> so uh, let's get into the transformation. Uh, first thing you want to do is take the barrel off here. Uh, come back here and take these guns off now. One thing I keep having issues with here is that these little pieces keep popping off on me. I don't know if this is the way I'm trying to take them off or if they're just that loose, but it only seems to be uh, this one here with the little missile pod. Uh, this one just constantly pops off me every time I try taking it off. But, oh well. So, since you've already got them in here, uh, all you have to do is come up to the Oh wait, I'm trying to think here. Bring his legs down, or what will become his legs, and bring these down. You can fold this piece here out, and then fold this red piece back a bit, so that, that pegs into there. Uh, then you can flip these pieces, actually wait, yeah, flip these pieces here up, so they flip out, and they can rotate his legs down. Take this piece here off, and then swing his chest or his waist around, and then close that piece there. Uh, then you can close up this little these back pieces, so they just fold back to where they were. Uh, take his legs. I find there's a little spot down here. Just push on them, and then flip out his heel. Do the same on this side. Flip up the heel. Uh, now you can come up here, flip open this piece here, and then rotate his head up, and then close that. Now I find for the arms the easiest way to do this is to take this piece and rotate it up so you can actually get his arm out. Uh, do the same on this side, rotate it up, and bring his arm out. He's almost done now. So then you rotate these pieces back down. And then bring them back. And you just clip them back together. And just kind of swivel it down. Then you take these shoulder pieces, rotate them out, and up. And then there you have Dark Mount Straxus transformed. 
His hands do also open up. He's got tons of posability as his head rotates. His arms are on a ball joint, uh, also a swivel. His knee, his wrist uh, also rotates and also opens. His hand opens up. Uh, does the same on both sides. His shoulders will do rotate like 360, but because of these shoulder pads, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, he's got the waist swivel as well. He also has ball jointed um, thighs. And then he also has the swivel here. He's got the knee. And then his feet are also on a ball joint. So it allows for lots and lots and lots of posability, which is really cool. Um, it's nice to see all these figures come up with like all the posability and tons of articulation because it's nice having them put, be able to put them in whatever pose you feel like and you know that they can do it. I think it's going to stand properly here. I kind of got them bent a little bit there. Oh well. Uh, now for his axe, what you want to do is you take this piece here and the barrel, slide that in, flip up the little picks, and then slide up the little barrel of the gun there. And then you can just hold that in his hand. And then you can take these little guns here and put them on wherever you want. Uh, I like to put this gun here up on over his one shoulder. And I like to take the little was it a missile pod, put that up on his other shoulder. Yeah, this piece, these pieces here keep popping off on me. Sorry, I probably caught that bit out of camera. And then I take this, whatever type of gun this is supposed to be, and I like to put it over on this side here. So overall, a uh, really cool figure. Uh, I'm glad I was able to actually get this guy. Once again, our big thanks to CyberMonkey over at Cybertron.ca. He picked this, uh, this one up to me. Uh, along with, um, uh, was it now, Generation Soundwave. These guys are really cool figures, definitely nice additions to uh, the Generations line and a nice little add-on to your Classics uh, universe. Uh, these figures are, are just great. Uh, it's nice to see that we're finally getting some of their like, figures from the comic books that never really were in the TV show. So it's kind of a nice homage to us. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting Skullgrin um, and Thunderwing and a bunch of these other characters are coming out uh, within the next year. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Uh, there is Generations Dark Mount. Hope you like the review, and I'll catch you guys later.